excited. We have people coming in and we are just, we're just going to have fun today. They just play and have this conversation, right? Right, right. Yes. This is, um, you know, just so good to connect. I'm glad we have this technology to connect. You're in, I believe, Florida. I'm here. So, yeah. yeah. Now, now, where are you located, Marie? I'm in North Carolina, Fayetteville. Okay, in North yes. Carolina. Okay. Don't yes. Terribly far. No, not at all. <laughs> so welcome everyone. This is the Facebook Live After Lunch special. And I am so excited today to be here with Deidre Johnson. And let me tell you, she is a just a dynamic leader. Okay. She's a dynamic leader in so many different ways in leadership development. And as a religious science practitioner, she has been the co-chair of the World Ministry of Prayer. She is dynamic and she is here today. We get to play with each other and hang out and have this wonderful conversation. Deidre, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. I'm delighted to be here. Absolutely. Yes. So oftentimes when I'm having interviews, I like to talk about, you know, the intersections. I remember meeting you. It had to be maybe 2011, somewhere in there. And it was in Atlanta. And then I've seen you different places with Facebook friends. And, you know, I, I love how the intersections of life. Yeah. I love how that, that happens. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And of course, you're familiar with Living Alive. Absolutely, I am. And congratulations to you on, on your ministry. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So now, tell us a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. Now, I know I met you about 2011, but if we can, let's go back a little further. How did you get introduced to science of mind, religious science? What was your, what was your beginnings like? Wow. That's, that's an, always an interesting question for me, <laughs> right? Because I, I grew up in the traditional mm -hmm. teachings, mm -hmm. and I, at one point, I, you know, I was done, right? But Spiritually, you know, you're always on that journey. And I actually, for the very first time, my introduction to science of mind, I was visiting my girlfriend in mm -hmm. um, Oakland. And I went to mm -hmm. East Bay. And wow. then, and I was just visiting, right? So I picked up the Science of Mind magazine. That was the first time I had ever seen the Science of Mind magazine. And I, mm -hmm. at that time, in the back of the magazine, they had a listing of all of the centers. Mm -hmm. And I looked to see, because at the time I was living in Atlanta. And so I looked to see if there was one in Atlanta. And there was. And I went to that particular center. And what that's how you know it's divine synchronicity, right? Because the Sunday that I went, the first class, foundations class was starting the oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you know that's where that divine synchronicity comes in so that was my first introduction uh mm -hmm. to science of mind yes so you're right now you're in florida, in florida and you talked about your visit to california and okay. you were in atlanta and so your travels, I'm sure you've got the, you had the opportunity to be in community, you know, with, with different people and different congregations. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So if you can share a little, um, a little bit about what the teaching has meant to you, has, how it has transformed your life. You know, um, it's in so many ways. It's, um, it's one of those things where at the point that I found science of mind, mm -hmm. I wasn't mm -hmm. doing anything, right? Yeah. Uh, and yes. I told my friend, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to church. She's like, I promise, based on conversations we've had, mm -hmm. I think you'll enjoy it, right? Yes. And sure enough, that was the case. Because I'm a, I've always been a seeker. Mm. And because it is a philosophy that teaches you how to live mm -hmm. and to give you tools 
to live mm -hmm. from that place of power yes. versus a place of victimhood. Mm -hmm. That is what I love about the philosophy is yes. that it empowers you. So that's, that's what I love. That's what I really like about the philosophy. And it's because it's a teaching philosophy. Mm -hmm. the, the faith and the belief is there in a higher power, in a higher power, but it also allows you to have those tools that empowers you to feel the connection. Mm -hmm. with the Indeed, divine. and recognize it in ourselves. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Now you talk about power and I know that you were the co-chair of the World Ministry of Prayer. And then I don't think we were there around the same time, but talk, and you talk about tools and that's leadership. Talk, talk about your journey to and at the World Ministry of Prayer. Well, you know, it's interesting how uh, you mentioned the word uh, intersections, right? And so I have yes. the, the right place at the right time when uh, there was a need for someone to step forward and lead the World Ministry of Prayer. And at the time, I was actually serving on the Leadership Council when mm -hmm. the need came forth. And yeah. I said, yes, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. Because yes. <laughs> it is, you know, a part of my philosophy of life really is you know, if there's something that you know, there are gifts that you know that you have, put them mm -hmm. in. Yes. You can choose wherever you want, whatever God has given you to use. You get to choose where you want to use it, right? Mm -hmm. And for my mother, her, my, I'm an only child, so my mom and I were like sisters, right? So she used her gifts to serve politically. Mm. I choose to use my gifts to serve humanity from a spiritual and life intentional purpose. Yes. So. Yes, that's beautiful. Now, while you were at the World Ministry of Prayer, so did you have the opportunity to, I know, probably train and, you know, can you tell us a little bit more about that leadership aspect? So from, from the perspective of the World Ministry of Prayer, it is a powerful prayer. It's just powerful, period. Mm -hmm. And leading a group of others who know the power of prayer, yes. mm -hmm. you know, we all have chosen to use prayer to empower us to change our lives. Yes. And there's no bigger honor than to pray with someone. So yes. here are a group of ministers and practitioners who have said, yes, mm -hmm. I want to serve humanity through prayer. Yes. So it, it, as a part of leadership, one of the things that, that it was a part of my responsibility is was to do the training for all of the volunteers, put together the documentation that was necessary. Because, you know, we offer prayer at the time and we're evolving. I'm so excited because the timing is <laughs> perfect. Mm -hmm. So in World Ministry of Prayer, we answer uh, via email and the uh, nice. calls that come in that are recorded. Everything has shifted over the years. Mm -hmm. And of course, our technology has played a role in uh, the World Ministry of Prayer. And so and it continues to evolve. Look out, coming soon on Mars. Yes. There's going to be some changes, some new things happening with regard to World Ministry of Prayer um, being online in a virtual mm -hmm. room. So we're excited. Oh, that is yeah. exciting. That is, is exciting. That's, that's coming up and look for it within the next 30 to 60 days. We're uh, yeah. actually in the pilot phase. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're doing our beta testing for the World Ministry of Prayer. So it is an honor to work with such awesome people. Um, mm -hmm. So I've stepped down as the chair 
and mm -hmm. now Denise Kaku is the chair and I'm still a part okay. of the uh, committee, the strategic committee for World Ministry of Prayer, along with Tracy Brown. So Great. the three of us are moving World Ministry of Prayer into its next evolution. Yes, moving it forward. Yes. Now, I know there may be some people that's listening to us and they may want to know right now, how do I connect with World Ministry of Prayer either to request a prayer or to serve? So how can, if you can share the website with them. Okay, so for a prayer, if, if you want to request a prayer, it's actually worldministryofprayer.org. And um, there's a phone number which you can, I, I believe it's on our uh, CSL website, to call in and someone will return your call for prayer. So those are the two ways right now. And eventually you will see some announcements about uh, online virtual prayer. Probably within, uh, that, 30, within 30 days, you'll see some announcements. That is exciting. I'm excited yeah. about that. Yeah. So now moving forward, yeah. now I'm excited to introduce you, right, right, as the new author of the personal affirmations section in the Science of Mind magazine starting in September, right? And I just so happen to have the newest copy right here. So everyone look for it. And so Deetra, just, I mean, this is exciting. It's living forward. Is doing your work in the world with a greater, just in a new way, right? And sharing your voice. So, you know, share. <laughs> you know, it's, it's interesting. Once again, going back to this teaching, mm -hmm. right? Um, one of, you know, I've always had the gift of gas. <laughs> as, a, as a little girl, my mom said, boy, you can talk. <laughs> So I've always enjoyed the words. Words, mm. the language mm -hmm. has yes. always been something that um, I appreciate it, right? Mm -hmm. And I um, was excited, once again, the intersection of life, yes. being in the right place at the right time. And because I enjoy language and words, and I've prayed with, you know, hundreds of people mm -hmm. and people have commented on my prayers and my, my mm -hmm. writing and serving uh, within CSL on multiple committees and being in leadership for CSL, um, the opportunity to write for the magazine, yes. honestly, it was one of my dreams. Yes, yes. And, you, you know, you share that one of your dreams. I yeah. know, um, looking at the affirmations that you have for next month, and I know everybody doesn't have it yet, but for, <laughs> for next month, one of the ones that really spoke to me was about the power of intention. And you know, when we set our intention, you know, that is when dreams manifest, right? Absolutely. So this particular your affirmations, the topic is facing fear for next month. And you have a, an affirmation in there about the power of intention. Can you, I mean, it's so timely. It's so timely. Can you share more about how this affirmation came to being? Because you have the context and then you have the affirmation. Yeah. Um, I, when, when, we, we, when you share with me that we were going to be talking about that, I was like, oh. What did I say? Because I wrote that <laughs> a couple of months ago, and, and I go into the moment and take it into contemplation. And the one that that I think you're speaking of mm -hmm. is I swing my intention into action for yes. my highest good to unfold. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is where the philosophy teaches your thoughts the power mm -hmm. of your thoughts. Yes. And I had an intention. It was a thought. It was one of those thoughts. Mm -hmm. But 
in my heart, it was like, oh, it really would be cool to write for the magazine. And so here we here we are. It, here it we are. Intensive, you know, because I set the intention from my heart, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got the call that says, "Would you like to do this?" I went, oh! <laughs> <laughs> "You, sh I shouldn't be in awe, right?" There's, you know, you, but because I, we know what God can do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And and I'll be honest. When I got the call, I was like, really? And that little thing called fear. And then I said, oh, get out of here. Yes, I, I got this, right? Yeah, I, you know, okay. this intention has been set. Mm -hmm. So I am um, excited about it. Yes, you, you know, ah, I love the word. I'm a word person too. I love the word ah. Because, you know, it can, based on our level of consciousness and where we are at in the moment, so it could be awesome, which I just love to step into, or it could be awful. And so I love to live in awe. I love to be excited about life. So I appreciate you sharing it. Now, the context for that particular affirmation, so you share that the intention is the plan to move, move through fear. It is the arm of the pendulum, the force of action through force of action, moving our focus, you know, and you go on. But what I want to mention is that the imagery, yeah. the imagery is so powerful. So tell me, how does imagery play a role in the power of us living in the affirmation? You know, it's interesting because for me, imagery is what everyone can relate to. Yes. And affirmations are the opportunity for us to stand in the knowingness yes. of what our heart desires and not look at the appearances, right? Mm -hmm. Let's not yes. focus on that, but focus on what it is we desire for it to be. Yes. So that's how affirmations and the imagery allows it to sink into the subconscious mm -hmm. and truly feel what it is we desire to experience. So that's what affirmations mean to me. And I've used, I have them all over my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come to my home, you will see affirmations everywhere. And I have them on my mirror to remind me, you know, there's, uh, mm -hmm. they're everywhere. Yes. They help me remember, remember Fair. Yes. who I am so that Absolutely. I can live this empowered, intentional life. Yes. And as I like to say, live aligned and forward. Yeah. So I, I had I had to throw that in there, right? Throw your, 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 exactly. <laughs> exactly. Indeed. So you know, if there's before we finish, this is like a before the before. There's again, like I said, there's people who are new to affirmations who may be watching this, or someone may share it, or might be having a watch party right now. They're new to affirmations. What would you tell that very new person? And because people, we normally start with an affirmation when we're in this teaching. What would you tell that person? If you could tell them one thing. I could tell them one thing is, and this is scriptural as well. Yes. And you've got you've to gotta focus on believing it yes. in order to see it. Yes. So the affirmations for me is my opportunity to believe it before I see it. Yes. So with that, <laughs> with that, because you know, we could probably talk all afternoon. Yes. But with that, what I'd like to do is for you to share how people can reach you before we close today. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so overjoyed to share uh, with everyone that I am here to support any and everyone as we move through this life, especially during this time when yes. 
those thoughts come up that we don't want to have. I always say, no, it's just a thought that I don't want to have. Delete, delete. Mm -hmm. And you can reach me at DietraJohnson.com. And um, I'd be more than excited to support any and everyone. I will be offering some classes. Mm -hmm. um, some that will uh, begin at the end of September. And um, they're going to be workshops, bites and pieces, since we are mm -hmm. in this virtual world, right? Right. And, uh, I look forward to supporting everyone on this spiritual journey. Oh, thank you so much for being with us today and playing with me. And, you know, it, it has been a joy. It has been a joy. Thank I you. want to... You're welcome. You're welcome. I want to share with everyone to remember that the CSR Heart of Meditation Collective Meditation is going to be every Monday at 1 p.m. live stream on our CSL Facebook page. Thank you for being with us. Peace and blessings. Blessings.